let me show you how to add a subscription form on WordPress for free. So let's go check this out right now. What's up, everyone? Like I said, I'm going to show you how to add a free subscription form. Now, for this, I am going to use MailPoet, which has a free version. Now, just be aware that the free version is limited to 1,000 subscribers per month, and you can send out up to 5,000 emails with this system. So it's like an auto goal package that's great to get started. Now, to do this, you have to first install the MailPoet plugin. To do that, go into plugins, go to add new plugins, search for MailPoet, and once you search for it, you're going to find it here. MailPoet and install this one by MailPoet. So install, activate, and that's going to get you going with this MailPoet widget. Now, before I show you how to add that subscription form, let me show you my sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan, I do recommend that you check out Hostinger. That link we provided in the description, and it's not just about that. I'm going to show you an extra discount coupon code that I have. Now, to apply it, first off, select the plan that you want to use. So let's go into hosting, web hosting, and I'm going to show you their shared hosting plans. They have three shared hosting plans. I'm going to recommend you the most popular one, but they have the cloud startup and they have a premium plan, which is also cheaper. So in this case, I'll grab the middle plan, which is $369 a month. And once you're here, you want to select the amount of months that you want to lock in the price for. I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, you lock in the lowest renewal price, and you're also good to go for 48 months. So no payments for 48 months. Now, right now, the price is $177 with 12 cents. But if you add my coupon code, which is SASMaster and apply it, the price is going to drop to $159 with 41 cents. So if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan, use my coupon. Now, let's go into the MailPoint system. So like I said, once you, once you install the plugin, you have these options here. To add a subscription form to your WordPress site, the first thing you want to do is go into forms so we can create that form that we want to use. So in this case, let's go ahead and add a new form. And then you have several options. You got pre-built forms from templates. You got pop-up, side-in, fixed bar, below pages, other widgets. And you can also start from blank. If you want to just have a little box for the email and a subscription button, use the blank form. But if you want to have something that already has a design that looks OK or good, then go ahead and select something like this. So let's go ahead and use this Black Friday one. So I'm going to select it. And once you're here, we're going to be able to edit all the information from here. So everything that it says right here, for example, it says enjoy 50 percent off. Maybe it's just 40 percent off. So I'll go ahead and edit right here. 40% off. Okay, so here we go. We're going to save this. Okay, we have to select the email list. So before you select this one, you can create list over here in case you want to organize these in a different way. In this case, I'll select this one that I have already. I am going to save it. There we go. Let's go back. And this is the one that we've just created, Black Friday. And we want to use this on a page so people can actually subscribe. So how do we do this? Well, let's go into our pages. Let's go into our home page, for example. This one is using Elementor, but you can use this also on Gutenberg. It's super easy. Let's go into Elementor. And in Elementor, we're going to scroll all the way down here. We're going to search for WordPress. And in WordPress, we have this one that says MailPoet. So let's just say that I want to drag this right here below this button. Here we go. We got that form right here. Now, I know it doesn't look all that good because the page is different, but this is just to show you the process. Obviously, you have to do the widget make it the way you like it and it, the way it fits on your site. OK, so we've added this right now. Let's go ahead and update it. Let's go ahead and preview this. This is a live site now, and we have the subscription form right here. If someone subscribes, let's go ahead and add my email right here. There we go. We are now subscribed. It says that we have to check the inbox. We can change this message if we like. But just like that, we're able to add a subscription form. Now, what happens after this? Well, this is going to be added to our subscribers list and we can send them an email. We can create an automation or we can send out campaigns. Now, that's going to be found over here again in the WordPress widget. We can view the subscribers from here. I already used this previously, so the email is already here. And if I want to send this out, I can do an automation or I can send out emails. Now, I can do an automation right now, which is super easy, or I can send out an email. All I have to do is select the email that I want to create. It could be a newsletter, post notification, or re-engage emails, or just click on the plus email and select the, the one that I want to use. Now, in this case, I can create a newsletter. I'll select from one of these templates. I'll use, I don't know, this one. Here we go. I can set everything up, set it up, and then send it out to my email subscribers. 
or set it up in the automation. That template that I've just created, I can use it inside of an automation. But that's how easy it is to add a subscription form to your WordPress site. Now, the good thing about the MailPoint free tier is that you can send out emails straight from there. You don't need to pay for email hosting and they have really great reputation. Just don't use it for spam because you're going to get banned if you do so. So do make sure to send out to emails that actually subscribe to your MailPoint system. Now, don't forget that if you plan to grab a short hosting plan, use my coupon code. Remember, it's SAS Master and the price is, the price is going to drop. It also works with BPS plans. And that's a wrap.